Hey there, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Havit Low Profile 87 Key Mechanical Keyboard. So, let's get started. In the box, you get the 87 key keyboard and a micro B USB cable. The cable is actually a bit special because it has a little tab thing at the end so that it fits in the keyboard with little play. You can still use other micro B USB cable though, but it may wear out the socket sooner because of the extra play. The keyboard is lower profile than standard mechanical keyboard at around half height and it's very sturdy, basically no flex. And it's also very, very lightweight. It only weighs 520 grams or just over one pound. This rigidity but low weight is made possible by its metal top and plastic bottom. On the bottom, there's nothing much except for two adjustable feet. The only thing to note here is that I found that if you don't extend the feet, it seems to slip on the table very easily. But if you have the feet extended, then it's fine. So definitely not ideal if you want to use it at the lowest angle. Back to the front with the switches. They are low profile switches, as the name states, and are made by Kale. The ones in this Havit keyboard is blue switches with blue backlight. As far as I know, there's no other switch type or backlight color for this specific board. Another thing to note about this keyboard is that because of its non ceramic style stem on the switches, you'll have a very limited custom keycap options. Now, while you don't have much custom keycap options, you do have a bunch of function customization, and this is done through its software. When you have the software installed and the keyboard plugged in, you can go in and add a whole lot of custom functions. This ranges from key presses to macros to media controls to launching specific apps. You can pretty much program it to do almost anything. The only two thing worth noting though, is that the app can be a little bit unclear at times, so it can be a bit confusing on whether you applied a setting or not. The second thing is that the programming must be done on a non-default layer. Now let's talk about the typing experience. If you've been typing on a non-low profile keyboard for a while, it may take a bit to get used to the lower profile, but after that, it was fine. Probably still not my personal favorite choice compared to all my other keyboards, but I have no problem with it. As for how the switches feels like, it feels like a mechanical switch because it is. And comparing to a standard switch, I'd say it's sort of in between a brown and a blue in terms of its tactile feeling. And since we're talking about switches, here's how they sound. Now there's one more thing I want to bring up before I move on to the price and conclusion. And that is that it has no volume or media control on its default layer. You can however program it in yourself, but it will need to be under a different layer, which means that you need to switch to it every time you want to access the volume or media control. This may not be an issue for some, but it certainly was for me. And with that, let's talk about the price and conclusion. The Havit Low Profile 87 Key Mechanical Keyboard is listed at about 60 US dollars and 80 Canadian on Amazon.com and .ca respectively. I think for that price, it's not bad at all. Even though it has a few minor drawbacks, I still think that the overall typing experience is pretty good. So if you're looking for a lightweight, low profile, but still mechanical keyboard, then the Havit Keyboard is certainly worth your consideration. If you liked the video, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you want more, consider subscribing if you haven't. And if you have anything else to say, leave in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.